Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth episode where we are going to finally do um, shape rotation. Okay, so I'm gonna on the shape class. I'm going to start creating a public void method called rotate, and in my board class right here, I'm just going to copy this and change this for up so when we press the up key arrow it's going to rotate the shape so current shape that rotate all right okay so let me explain you how we're going to rotate them so first we're going to get the transpose matrix of the original one and we do this by just changing the rows for columns so for instance this row becomes this column here and this one became this and that's how we get the transpose matrix then we just need to uh, reverse the rows in order to get left rotation or reverse uh, the calls in order to get right rotation in this series I will just I'm going to uh, rotate to left so I just change these rows with this one and this just would leave it at how it is and the final result will be this one and that is as simple as that how we are rotating the shapes so let's go um, let's go back to our shape class I'm going to create two private methods and we're going to return an int to the array for the matrix and I'm going to call this get transpose and it's going to take an int to the array and I'll call this matrix and another one pretty much the same get reverse okay get reverse matrix and takes int int matrix alright oh, let me alright so let's get start with, with the get reverse matrix okay so we are just going to switch positions until we find the middle so <coughs> sorry I just need to get the middle so middle point will be just matrix dot length divided by two and now I'm going to iterate for int equal to zero I mean I just sorry language trick so just middle here I plus plus okay so we're create we're doing row reverse so we just need to get int and a rate and I'm gonna call this M and it's equal to just matrix at I position then we just need to set the I position to the last will be matrix at the last will be matrix dot link minus i minus one that way we switch the first position now we just need to save matrix at this position which is the last position it's equal to m that's why we store the first position here so at the end we just need to return matrix and that is how we reverse the rows of a matrix now let's go move on to the transpose so we're gonna create here a matrix and call this new new matrix or something and I'm going to define the size of it 
the size just by saying here matrix at zero dot dot length and here just matrix dot length all right now in a nested loop which is int i equals zero i less than uh, matrix dot length dot sorry dot length okay i plus plus four in j equal to zero j less than matrix at zero dot length j plus plus and we're going to set the new matrix positions so we're switching rows by columns columns so i'm just going to set here j and i it's going to be equal to matrix at i dot j pretty much that and we're just going to return new matrix okay so now let's rotate this I'm gonna create a new matrix here call this rotated matrix star equal to null and I'm going to first get it transpose as explain it so rotated matrix is equal to get transpose of the chord matrix and now rotated matrix is equal to get reverse matrix of the rotated matrix get reverse matrix I tap here okay now we just need to set cores equal to rotated matrix now let's see if it works when I run it's now rotating except that it is also rotating and going out of the bounds so we need to fix that and it's actually easy to do that we just need to do here if we need if x plus rotated matrix at zero dot length it's greater than ten or or if y plus rotated matrix dot length it's greater than 20 we just return and we don't rotate because it will it will go out of the bounds of the plane area so run again and rotating here and when I go here I'm not able to rotate it okay so it works the same goes to here there I'm not going able to rotate it.